The first step to find your Seabill IP camera on your network is to connect one end of a tested Ethernet cable to the camera's RJ45 input and then connect the other end of the cable to your router or switch. Ensure the camera is powered by the necessary power requirements that you can find in the camera specifications. Once you have made this connection, you want to use a PC or a Mac and use our Seabell IP Finder tool to locate your cameras. Now that we've installed our IP tool 2.0, we can now locate our Seabell IP cameras. I have a few devices on the network, and in this example here, we're going to change the IP address of an IP camera and also default it. In order to do that, you want to left click on the device. Now on the right hand side there, you can change the IP, the subnet mask and the gateway, and just be sure to enter the password of the camera and then select modify. It'll take a few seconds and now you can see the camera has changed to the 203. And now I'm going to go ahead and default the camera. Go ahead and just click on the restore IPC default configuration. And then you're going to want to enter the MAC address and also the password. So the password first and then enter the MAC address. And then select OK. And this is going to default the camera. Once you select OK on here, you have 30 seconds to power cycle the camera. And now the camera will be defaulted.